guys, it's Dan Solomon again from the DiabetesAuthority.com. Remember to visit our site and sign up for our free newsletter and also get our special gift, uh, Diabetes Secrets Revealed. And also check out the cool articles and interviews that we have on the site with some of the leading experts on nutrition, diabetes, and health. And uh, browse around and take advantage of all the tools and, uh, again, the cool articles that we got. Today, we want to talk to you a little bit about diabetes symptoms. Now, what are the symptoms of diabetes and recognizing those symptoms? Symptoms of diabetes can go unnoticed for years or sometimes there, you can not have any symptoms at all. That's why getting regular checkups are key. You know, getting uh, going every six, six months to 12 months to your regular family physician to get lab work and get a regular checkup from he or she is a key to identifying diabetes from the start. So most people don't go to the doctor very often unless they're sick. So I recommend that you just go, even if you're not sick, every six to 12 months. Very key in identifying diabetes, especially if you have a family history of it um, or you're overweight or you have some bad uh, lifestyle habits, a lot of stress, uh, bad eating habits, you don't exercise as often as you should, definitely want to get those checkups in there. Knowing, your sim knowing these types of symptoms will help you identify the problems from the very beginning. A lot of times people will have some of these symptoms and ignore them. Now type 1 and type 2 diabetes symptoms are very, very similar. So we're going to cover those today. One of the symptoms is frequent urination or urinary tract infections. If you run into the bathroom, you know, every you know, 20, 30 minutes, usually that's a sign that uh, something's going on with your bladder um, or the urinary tract. Unusual thirst or increased appetite and hunger. Uh, that's a very common symptom of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Fatigue, irritability, mood changes, changes in your behavior, your energy levels, those things are all very common between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Weight gain and weight loss. Now weight loss is very common with type 1 diabetes and weight gain is very common with type 2 diabetes as far as the way they metabolically affect your body. So if you notice dramatic changes in your weight um, and you really haven't done anything different as far as you know exercise or changing anything in your diet usually that's probably an indication that um, either you have diabetes or there's some other type of health issue going on slow healing now people with either type 1 or type 2 diabetes they have very slow healing that has to do with the uh, insulin and also the blood sugar in their blood uh, affecting the healing process and also diabetes of course it's an autoimmune disease and causes inflammation in the body so that in return affects the immune system so you know if you get a cut you get any type of you know cold or flu or anything that like that you you are more likely to stay sicker longer or your wounds or your cuts would take longer to heal increased risk of infection. So not only do you uh, heal slowly, but you also increase your chance of getting other infections. Like again, I mentioned flu, cold, um, any other type of sickness or other infections that may be going around the office or you know your school or wherever you may be. Vision problems. A lot of type 1 or type 2 diabetics, doesn't discriminate, tend to have vision problems. This has to do with the again the blood sugar levels and the insulin in your body causing damage to the blood vessels in your eyes it's uh, le usually diabetes leads to something called retinopathy which is basically nerve degeneration and blood vessel problems in the eyes tingling or numbness in your hands or feet uh, again this has to do with damage to the blood vessels in the nerves which diabetes does cause because of hot elevated or high blood sugars. Knowing these symptoms will decrease uh, further complications. Like I said, you want to make sure that you're aware of them. So if they do present themselves, you know 
that you need to maybe go to your doctor or notify your doctor that you at, are having these problems and to get rechecked for diabetes. Or if you have diabetes, it's a sign that your diabetes is getting worse. And making lifestyle changes is how you can actually, if you are experiencing these symptoms, how you can reverse from reverse these symptoms from occurring again or decrease the chance of them occurring again. Through diet, um, making dietary changes, of course, exercising on a regular basis, reducing the amount of stress in your life, and getting sleep. A lot of people, you know, miss the importance of sleep. Sleep is very important as far as, uh, you know, decreasing your chances of getting type 2 diabetes um, and also decreasing your uh, the complications with diabetes in general, whether you're type 1 or type 2. Remember to visit thediabetesauthority.com for more information on diabetes. I hope this uh, little session on diabetes symptoms helped you out and uh, opened your eyes to a couple things that you may not have known. Um, remember to sign up for our free newsletter and get your free gifts while you're there on the site. Again, uh, this is Dan Solomon from thediabetesauthority.com. You guys take care. Until next time, uh, take care of your health and, uh, and your diabetes.